Hi, if you're looking for 2D games with great art style that you can play right now in 2024, well, you're in a good place because in today's video, I'll be talking about five games that have incredible art style. And if you stick until the end, I'll give you a bonus. So that being said, let's get into the Hi, my name is Vashal and this is Tailplay and in today's video I'll be talking about 2D games. Most of them are platformer with metrovanian or roguelite elements but some of them are story emphasis which I'll be talking about in the bonus. Some of the games have been already released so you can pick them up if you want to and play them right away. A lot of the games that I picked from this list are very positive on Steam so you definitely are going to enjoy these kind of games. Not only that they look great Great, but also a lot of players have been enjoying them and you can enjoy them too. As a disclaimer, I just want to mention that these games, I've been researching them. I haven't played them all. So if you're interested in getting a full depth review for them, definitely check out on YouTube. There's plenty of videos out there that you can go ahead and check for each game individually. Although I'll be talking a little bit about each one of them so that you get a clear idea of what this game is all about. That being said, let's get into the list. So the first game on this list is called Blast Blue Entropy Effect. Blast Blue Entropy Effect is a spin-off of the Blast Blue series featuring a new original storyline and a world that is separate from the main plot of the Blast Blue series. This is a roguelike game with one of the flashiest and awesome action combat you can find in 2024. You have 10 playable characters from the Blast Blue series with vibrant personalities, unique combat styles and immersive voice acting. There are hundreds of moves for you to build around, plus countless element effects and legacy skill passed between characters. The game released this 14th of February, but quickly it became very popular for its gorgeous art style and fun combat and rapidly picked Steam, being ranked as overwhelmingly positive. If you want some rich and incredible combat mechanics, you gotta try this game out. It goes to show that sometimes trying something different for a beloved series hits hard for fans and newcomers alike. The second game is called Cookie Cutter. Not Cookie Clicker, but Cookie Cutter. I know it can be a little bit confusing, but trust me, these two games are totally different from one another. This is a game that I haven't heard many people talk about since it came out in December, but I really think that the art style is what really makes this game stand out. This is a totally unique hand-drawn 2D Metrovania. You play as Cherry, a violent android on a rage-filled quest to save her creator, while she'll explore and fight her way through unique illustrated sci-fi dystopian world as she chainsaw murders anybody who stands in her way. Every frame of this immersive experience is drawn by hand with copious amount of love. That means epic fallout of your chair visuals, grotesque bugs and menacing robots, gargantuous bosses ridiculous weapons and special moves and brutally glorious finishers. All of this brought to life with a benchmark 2D animation. It's an incredible looking game that reminds me of Pizza Tower's art style for some reason. And despite not getting much attention on Steam, I think it's great to talk about this one and let more people know about it. The next game that I'm gonna talk about is called Ultros. Now this is a very unique and interesting looking game. Ultros is a psychedelic metrovania where you wake up standing on the sarcophagus, a cosmic uterus holding an ancient demonic being. Trapped in a loop of a black hole, you will have to explore the sarcophagus and meet its inhabitants to understand the part you play. The rich world of Ultros holds many secrets for those curious enough to seek them out. A unique loop back mechanic will allow you to start over at key moments in the story, providing opportunities to uphold such secrets, unlock different areas of the world and new abilities on a branching skill tree. Experiment with and master your own specific fighting style as you explore the world of Ultros. Each loop brings you closer to the truth. I found this game very fascinating and interestingly looking, so I couldn't ignore it and not talk about it. The game is out since February, so you can pick it up right now and play it. So if you enjoy this kind of content and want to support 
me to reach more people of course all you have to do is hit that thumbs up and also if you're new to the channel or you're a reoccurring viewer and want to be in touch with me with all kinds of listing videos and other videos of this nature feel free to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so that you don't miss every time i post something new that being said let's continue with the video next momodora moonlit farewell momodora moonlit farewell is the latest installment in the momodora series join momo high priestess of the village of koho as she embarks on a divine mission to save her people from imminent destruction at the hands of the demon hordes summoned by the malevolent bell ringer if you are like me and have never heard about momodora well it looks like this is the fifth installment the first one came back in 2010 followed by a year later momodora 2 and in 2014 we got the trilogy from there two years later we got momodora reverie under the moonlight and ever since then we got absolutely nothing the game looks rather cute with beautiful whimsical art style and a fun and challenging boss fights and a gorgeous pixel art style it's a shame not many people know about this installment and i wish that more people including myself would have picked it up when it was out still doesn't hurt to try this game out if you are new to this type of franchise it's definitely worth checking this game out and the fifth one on this list is called berserk boy this is an another 2d game that not many people know or talk about berserk boy came out this March and it's fairly recent. So Berserk Boy is a high speed action packed platformer with Metrovanian elements packed with vibrant and stylish pixel art. As you charge into different forms and use the power of lightning, fire, ice, air and earth to save the planet. The game seems to take great inspiration from Sonic and Mega Man, but many who have played it have praised it as being an incredibly fun and enjoyable game. I thought that it looked fantastic and I wanted to share it with others who grew up playing and enjoying Mega Man or Sonic and maybe missed out on the colorful art style that those games had. So that was the list of games that I wanted to talk about. Of course, right now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the bonus games. Here's two games that I want to keep an eye out for and maybe you want to do the same thing. The first one piqued my interest for its art style, combat and stealth mechanics. It's a mixture of action metrovanian with parkour and stealth elements and it's called the Siege and the Sandfall. Explore the majestic palace and an ancient prison of kingdom under siege. Dawn the mantle of the legendary Sandfox as you venture into the ruins below and discover the true threat from the Sandborn evil. This game reminds me so much of Prince of Persia that I can't wait to see more about this game when it comes out. We don't have a specific date but let's hope that we will find out soon lastly replaced replaced is a gorgeous looking game i had on my wish list for some time now replaced is a 2.5d sci-fi retro futuristic action platformer where you play as reach an artificial intelligence trapped in a human body against its own will replaced combines cinematic platforming pixel art and free flow action combat set in the alternative of 1980s it's it's looking incredible and is set to release sometime in 2024 as well. I wanted you to keep an eye out for this game as I will be as well when it launches and I'm looking forward to hear more details as soon as I find out I might make more videos about this game. So that's all I wanted to share in this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the games that I've shared. Feel free to comment down below what was your favorite and if you tried some of the games let us know in the comments. We would really like to hear your thoughts on this one if you tried any of the games that are in this list of course i am personally interested in and i'll be wishlisting them and hopefully at some point i'll be talking about them in future videos that being said thank you very much for watching my name is Vasheral and this has been a tell play listing video and as always take care stay safe and happy gaming